Jeremy. All right, so let's get started. We'll call the meeting to order. It is 7.01 or 2, depending on what clock probably you look at. Is there any public comment for items not on the agenda? Additions or changes to the agenda. All right. Um, the warrants are circulating, and there's yep. cookies over here. Cookies and napkins. Oh, good. We like cookies. Mm -hmm. You've already had some of those. I know, they melt your mouth. Right. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, here's napkins. Oh. No, we're not allowed to leave any crumbs. Here. How can you eat those cookies and not it's leave possible. crumbs? It's impossible. Oh, yeah, I know. Such like a good host is there. Inhale. Oh. And, uh, All right, so let's get started on the treasurer's report. Sandra, can you hear us okay? Sandra? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good. Um, so we have the... Okay, there we go. Take it away, Sandra. Hi there, everyone. Happy holidays. Nice to see you all. Um, New, Year. New Year's coming. <laughs> It'll be interesting. Anyway, so um, I I have sent around the November treasurer's report uh, two or three weeks ago for your review. We look in good shape. The tax collection effort was uh, consistent with um, collections over the past three years, we right. ended the um, effort with, let's see, roughly $186,000 in delinquent taxes, which are coming in. And um, we don't have any agreements back, but we have received a number of full payments this month. So we're yes. hoping that that will continue at a brisk pace. Otherwise, everything is on track in terms of expenditures and revenues. Um, the highway department is about to make a request for reimbursement on a relatively small grant, roughly, I think, $7,000, and we expect that in, in the next couple of weeks. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Well, we, we voted to send that one delinquent um, property to tax collection, right? The one I, don't, been I don't think so. You, What we were waiting on is to see if she responded, if she paid her 2021 taxes. She has not, and uh, nor has she responded to the initial delinquent uh, tax uh, correspondence asking for her to contact the office to pay in full or to create a payment plan and an agreement was sent to her to sign. So she currently owes roughly $9,000 at this point, uh, 2, 000, almost $2,100 from 2020 and let's say 7350 of 2021 taxes. So her total, the total taxes out on this parcel are $9,436.98 and interest will continue to accrue at 0.5% until it's paid in full. Um, I think the board has done everything to satisfy itself that this person is alive and well and simply not paying taxes. So typically what we do in this situation is send, um, is send this, ta this parcel to collection, at which point the town is outside of the negotiating process and taxes have to be paid in full to the attorney. And if not, the attorney will um, post it for tax. But I need a motion on that. 
I guess I thought we already did that, but I don't think I thought we already did that. Um, and I'll have to go back and look at the minutes. We can do it again. Yeah, I thought we did. Did you did you motion the did you motion the twenty twenty one taxes as well? I'm just looking at the minutes. The because Gloria will want that. Well, I guess we could do it again. I haven't do looked it. at all the minutes, but let's just do it. Let's just do it again. Let's, um, so we make the motion to send the is it the 2019 or 2020? 2020 and 2021. 2020 and 2021 delinquent tax property to. Um, well, we should identify the parcel. There needs to be some identification of the property. Yeah. Do you have the parcel number handy? Yes, it's 510-905. Parcel number 510-905, uh, delinquent taxes for 2020 and 2021 to, um, do we call it collections? To, to the uh, town's tax attorney. Tax attorney for collection. For collection. Okay, so that's the motion. Is there a second? Second. All right, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, so that's done. Um, did anybody else review the treasurer's report? Have any questions? I looked at it today. I didn't have any questions this time. Can you believe it? Yeah. Um, any hi other highlights, Sandra, you want to make us aware of? No, things are steady as she goes. Good, good, very we good. We look good. Okay, so, um, town office, I see Jeremy said he didn't really have anything for the agenda today, tonight. Um, all right, so we have a right of way request from the East Cal's Community Trust. Mark and I are recusing ourselves from voting on this. Um, Rob Richard is here as the Woodbury Mountain Site Works. He's going to be doing the work on the project. Here is. Um, so this what you're maybe you can explain what's gone wrong there, Denise. Yeah. So what's gone wrong is we had. Um, this is me speaking with my ECCT hat on. We had a. There's only tenants in unit one. All the other, the other two units are vacant. Um, and about two weeks, week and a half ago, they contacted us saying that their sink was backing up. So I had our handyman come out several times. He tried to run a snake through it from the apartment, under the, through the pipe, and from the septic system side of it through the pipe. He couldn't get it to, he couldn't get anything to move. It, just kept hitting like a dead end. So Harvigan's, now called Wind River, um, came out and did a pressure test and tried to run a snake through it and they couldn't get anywhere and they determined that the line is broken from 12 feet from the side of the store by the porch along Back Street, you know where Back Street is along the, the side of the All store right. there. And there's, um, and I can let Rob also jump in because he was, you were on site when Hardigans was there? No, I went there last Sunday and got Alfie to come and check it out with me just to see the way of it. And then I marked it out for Dig's sake. Right. And I went inside and just checked out the way the plumbing was and where the old cast iron left the building. And you said it's um, a clay pipe? It's cast iron leaving the building, it, then it probably changes to plastic coming out under the porch, under the road. And then it takes a 45 where the alleged break or separation is. And then it at some point goes to six inch clay where it crosses Route 14 to the septic system across the road. But then it's net down to four inch. Right. Into so, the septic. So what we decided is, you know, there was two options for the fix. There's this initial fix. Um, and then we've learned that we probably have to do a bigger fix when we begin renovations and we have to tell, tell our project manager, EF Wall, about this newest situation because it sounds like from 
what Rob is saying that we need to, what we really need to do is to bore under Route 14 and put in new lines, put in new lines, but we can do that when we do the renovations. Right now we just need to get this fixed with the plumbing working. The tenants have been temporarily relocated because of health and safety regulations, so they're out. And I told them like a week. And so maybe you can describe what work you need to do and when you can start. Well, mm -hmm. and, and also, hi Rob. How are you? Good. As you're doing that, can you relate it to the right-of-way permit? application itself like yeah so the the biggest uh hurdle it was the frost um because it's getting deeper every day it's probably not too bad hopefully we can just dig right down through it we're gonna have to detour back street for the duration of it um just to keep track traffic off it's roughly in the center line so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do like a lane change so it'll be like the whole road close for it. It's under the paved apron that was done two years ago, so we're gonna have to remove part of that and it won't be able to get repaved until next year. And then uh, one of the questions is if that work is going to be done to directionally bore under Route 14, we probably wouldn't want to put the pavement back in until after that was done. So in the permit, we might want to have some literature on a contingency of that decision later if it's made for the timing of that paved apron replacement. It was, I just want to add that, you know, we have this one family in a three bedroom apartment and at Christmas time when we were decorating the tree, we discovered this puddle of sort of obnoxious puddle in the store and we thought it was leaking in from the outside. It wasn't. It was bubbling up. Yeah, it was. So we had this problem that this is really destructive in addition. The family was kind of living there and just sort of trying not to flush the toilet too much and stuff to put it back. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, so we really had to work to convince them to get out and we're paying them a certain amount per day right. to be living with, uh, you know, a relative. And uh, so how long do you, I mean, I've forgotten, you said to take two days maybe to do the yeah, work? Yeah, that's a safe bet. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. Um, the, the frost is kind of the problem. I do have like a ground heater, so if it's really frozen, I could thaw it, but I have to set that up and then leave the road closed for the day while it basically warms it up. Um, is there is there a formal application? Okay. That's what you should And the permit number, the application number is 2021-10. And, and there's a fee that's been paid, the application yep. fee's been yep. paid. 12 to okay. yeah. Right. No, 2021-10. Oh, 2021. Yeah. Right. So it's like the, it's the yeah, 10th yeah, the right tenth. away yeah. permit for 2021. So is this, I'm a little confused. Is, it, is the subject on the other side of 14 or is it on Yeah. The, it is, so it's it coming out on the back side. What's the back street? Back street is fine. It's it's just so curves it out on the back street and then goes across. The I got you. I got you. So that's uh, here, Sharon. So it's just a direction change. Yeah, Sharon. Thank you. It's just it's just so happens to sort of different different form than this one was on that. The entry to back street is, is like part of you know. So it just sort of curves out there and goes across. So right now they think you think that, that we just the repairs all in the back street area, correct? Right? Well, ideally, if I were to like say what would be the like most efficient, cost-effective solution, if it wasn't better, I would you know recommend doing it all at once yeah, because yeah, it's in the location where you have to dig the hole to set the directional um, boring machine, which Alfred has a lot more experience with that than me. Um, but from what he's described, that you know there'd be a hole on the other side of Route 14. They they figure out the direction of it. Um, there's the water service through there that's fairly close and uh there yeah. isn't much for underground like utilities it's above ground power so it's basically just water and sewer and i did notify the east cal's fire district okay i left him a message yeah but didn't hear back well, so i sent them i sent them an email with a copy of the permit okay. application great so they so is the section under 14 you think that's still intact or is it just oh it's yeah just the, it's, intact. it's just the back street it's just the, yeah yeah so you're doing that to, you're fixing the break for the terrible yeah it's the immediate just okay. to get the it's, it, 
I yeah. think we have to do a little more investigation. We did have the whole thing videoed, mm -hmm. and we had a report, and there was no indication of a problem under Route 14. So it's it's more than anything just a feeling like it's an old pipe. Yeah, it's very fine. It's very and it's time. But <clears throat> for the grant, we want the grants to pay for this as much as possible, and so that's why. And we want that family back in there as sure. quickly as yeah, possible. Yeah. So we just decided to do the minimal amount of work and just fix this one. And we'll, and we'll deal with the bigger issue when we do the renovation. So we'll probably have to come back and get another, we'll make some well, another application. Sense. But yeah. right now, we just need to fix it. Okay. So Mark, a second ago, you said it'll probably have to wait. But you're talking about the bigger piece. The bigger piece. Right? And and this one. From the fact that you've got a family dislocated, this piece of it can't wait. No, right. it's got to go. I'd like it to be done this week, if possible. Okay, so um, so this is the application and the select board approves on this. Is mm -hmm. that their pair? Okay. Um, but you, have, you probably want to hear from Alfred and see what... No, I do. I want to hear... Rob articulated a, a possible condition, which yes. really I think we want to hear from you about, Alfred. Which is great. Thank you, Rob. Okay. Right yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so a couple things that I am concerned about. Uh, first of all, it's a really bad time of year to be digging up a road. It's only going to be a thorn in everybody's back for the rest of the year and into the spring, beyond the spring. It's going to do what? It's going to be. It's going to be a problem for the road from now until we can grade it. Um, so that's one concern. Second concern is the blacktop. And I mean, we did just barely put that down and the taxpayers pay a lot of money for that blacktop. So in a condition, I definitely want that to be replaced properly. Um, come, come spring or summer. Would have to be, right. Yeah, you yeah. definitely can't do it now. But they would, if they're gonna be doing larger repairs, that could be coordinated with that. I can sooner rather right. later. Well, again, sooner rather than later, but I don't want going on all summer and right. just dealing with a dirt road. You know what I mean? A dirt roughed up right. road that is very difficult to smooth up. Yeah. That's why we paved that because it's, right. it was a safety hazard getting the grader out into the 14. And, yeah. You know, uh, so that's another concern. The next one is the road closure. Um, I, I know that it's probably going to be a short term, but in that short term, there's going to be a lot of inconveniences. People that are coming down off the hill with a bigger truck or with whatever has to now go out Church Street and, and meet Route 14, where it has proven to be a dangerous situation. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something that we need to consider. Um, Should we have someone directing traffic? One that's one solution the cars could have. Could have a very good warning. Um, yeah, I mean, you got the, I mean, I think that you're going to have to slow the traffic down coming into coming into the mm -hmm. village also. Yeah. I mean, we know it's 35 miles an hour, but everybody yeah. in this room knows they're not doing 35 miles an hour. It's blind. Uh, another issue, have we, have we notified the state that we might be working in there right away? or might be close to there right away. I didn't think we were going to be in there right away. It's, it's right on the edge. What's, what's it on 14? It's going to be three rod, right? Or it's, yeah. yeah, it's like three rod. I mean, I've, I've done a little bit of research myself on that, which is actually in your favor. The right way is further to the septic system side of the road. Okay. So I think it's 16 feet from the center of the road, headed towards the store. So that's like four feet off the white line. Yeah. But again, depending on where the break is, which I don't think we're real clear of in the, in the conversations I've heard, we're not real clear where this break is. And I also want to understand what the what if we dig down out to the state right away, we don't find the leak, we don't find the problem. What are we gonna do then? 
Yes, Rob, Rob's our contractor. Yeah, generally, uh, like that happens to me on, on Camp Street in Barry, and you just go till you're in the main road, and then you stop and you fill it back in, and then you know you get everything out of the way and you reconvene, and then it's a bigger project at that point, and then you go through the motions of, yeah. you know, and then it's a V trans I mean, it, is it lane closure. Or, is it typical that sometimes you wouldn't know until you get in there, kind of like exploratory surgery? Yeah, the camera helps. Um, because it gives you an idea of the length and the angles where it exits the building. So nowadays you can have a little bit better of an idea with okay. that. But it is kind of a, you know, there's surprises. A lot of times it's deeper than you think and you have to bench it back yeah. to meet BOSHA requirements or trench box it. Um, it was estimated at like six or seven feet when it left the building. So as it pitches down, it only gets deeper at that 12 feet. Um, and was there like some kind of an elbow or something that they think is where it it's broke? It's like a 22 or a 45. It comes out and then it just turns a little bit and that's where it's separated. So. Hi, so, okay, so. Number of concerns from Alfred. If, if, if we were to address the traffic concerns, then there's a state coordination there, right? In come, well, and any, anything you're doing to slow traffic on 14 involves the state, right? Well, I don't know yes. what that process think, would be. I think even if you're not working in there right away, they should be notified. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to have a truck sitting in the, in the store parking lot, you're going to have a trailer perhaps, you're going to have smaller, it's just going to, there's, activity that's going to be there. You're going to have an open ditch with a pile of dirt next to it. No, it's not in there right away, but you've got people that are driving 50 miles an hour. I wonder right if they, right they want you. us to hire a sheriff just to... Well, that's I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what their criteria but, would be, yeah. but I just feel like we should notify them. Yeah. I mean, I try to notify them when I'm moving snow in the wintertime, yeah. and it's just a bucket loader in the road. Yeah. Is there is there yeah, ever a, is there ever a, a scenario where you know given the location and given you know Route 14's proximity to the project and the traffic issues you're mentioning mentioning that we would do a traffic slowing thing just like what the state would like maybe directing traffic into one lane on 14 just to get totally around I mean is that is that crazy or is that a normal thing to do? Even though it's a town road you're working on, right. the implications. Well, anytime you see the state working beside the road, they've got a, a traffic. They do, but it's a state road. And it's up. there, like so. Is it possible? Have we ever done it? Is it possible to do that sort of traffic management, even though it's not a state project? Yes, it is possible. Okay. You could do a shoulder closure, which is a lot less. Do you put, a, do you, okay. do you put a sign that says construction ahead, or what do you do? Yeah, there's like the mute M U T C D. It's basically like a traffic and temporary traffic control manual that is site specific per like site distance, and you know, uh, and if you do a shoulder closure, you know, you need like um, approach signs, and it's, you, know, you just have to put some temporary signs before and it just it notifies people that there's something going on off to the side. It, it, it is, it's a good idea. It would be Alfred, is that sufficient in that area? It's sufficient for for me and what, what I would like for safety, but I my, my bottom line is I think we need to notify the state. Yeah, and just let like them. Rob out. can do that. Yeah. Yeah, Rob can do that. He's, he's taking care of Dig Safe and if he knows who to contact. Right. Yeah, it'd be the district tax rate right? kind of the like. It's not Sean well, anymore. Well, there's a right way. There's a there's a person that is that is obligated to look at right away stuff. I kind of traffic I forget his, his name. And it's probably that they didn't a lot of the signage. So because this is a sign job, really, I think. I mean, that that definitely would have to happen in there. I don't know who's running it now, but uh, the district would be able to steer you to the right person. And they would need to understand. I mean, this is sort of an emergency situation. Yeah. 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 The other concern 
about the road and its condition in the winter. Um, because of the frost and how blocky it is, you know, one option is, you know, instead of reusing the material that comes out of the road because there's such a high moisture content, it's hard to get compaction. We could bring in new material. It would be a little bit more costly, but then we could compact it mm -hmm. and address his concerns about it's kind of just yeah. even worse. Yeah, whatever, whatever yeah. makes it work. We just need to get this fixed. Well, so, so, the, so the bottom line question for me tonight is whether, whether we can describe, I think we can describe a condition of notifying the state of the project and securing whatever approval. Contractor will notify state. Yep. Contractor will backfill trench with loose sand. Fresh material. material. Fresh sandy gravel and material as per road commissioner. Well, the biggest, the biggest thing there is no frost goes back in because you, right. you can't compact frost. Right. And in the spring when it, when it does. Right. So, out, so fresh sand. Yeah. Sand or gravel. So, sand or gravel. Yes. Yeah, sand or gravel. You, you work that out. Well, but I want, but I, if it's a condition, we need some specificity of the language if we're going to. Yeah, just say some sub base of dense gravel is like what the state term would be for. Sand is a little bit, you know, right. not perfect. I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, it just call it like sub base of dense gravel as a descriptor for the material going back in, and then they, you know, say, you know, remove all frost, um, penetrated soil, and replace with dense grade. Is there going to be, I don't know how much frost is in the ground now, probably not a whole lot. So it's, well, I was going to say, when it's plowed, it's more. Yeah. Well, well, will this require, you know, will require, once that thaw happens, that's going to have to be kind of rebranded. Oh, is there, I'm looking for, I'm looking for a higher, a higher level description, because basically what I'm hearing from you, Alfred, is the town just invested a lot of money and resource into a thorough, re thorough repair of back street. And so whatever the language is, what we're looking for is for the town, for, for back street to be left, you know, as good as or better than you found it is, is, is the very non road way of saying it. Um, so we want to, we need to, re we need to replace the apron to existing conditions. Replace the apron. What's the apron? The apron's the black top that was done a couple of years ago. Actually, an apron to existing conditions. Alfred, said, address that. There's a transition. Do it. Yeah. Do the it. asphalt transition from the dirt road on Back Street right. to the 14. The, that, yeah. So that, the black that, top, that and then at the sub base is the stuff that's underneath that. The, the, the black top, you guys, including replacing the sub blade, sub base to. It's pre-project condition. Yeah, and we would want to make sure that Alfred, um, you know, is, is checks things out as we yeah. progress. Yeah. So you could put that in there as well. Do you have Alfred in that? On that, I mean, generally, like when you make a cut down so you got deep, especially a pipe that's that deep, and then we put in new material, so that's going to heave differently in the future. I mean, generally in the roadway, we always did a tapered transition because that's, that's not going to heave as much, say, as probably what's under Back Street. Well, it's, it's all sand there anyway. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what that is. That, so that's it's all green. It's not an issue. That store sits on a pile of sand. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the good thing. So it is sandy. I can attest to that. I've dug water lines all through that village, so I, I, I know it is sandy. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think that the difference in material will be as crucial. Right. What I so am worried about. What I am worried about is the, the when it gets backfilled, that no frost gets backfilled. Right. Any so chunks of frozen dirt, anything yeah, that's frozen, right. doesn't go down right. in the hole because right. that's when you're well, going to have your suit. I think Rob agrees with that. It's in the, in the right. conditions. It'll be expanded. It'll so the other question I have. It's going to collapse. <laughs> The other question I have is that this sounds like a temporary fix, a band-aid, so to speak. 
are we going to have to go through this whole discussion again? Probably. When we do the, the full on repair? Probably. Probably. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Sure, we if we do, if we do it. If we if we have to, if we have to do what's right to make. I mean, what's what's the alternative? They got tenants. They got to put a septic system in. They need to deal with the emergency. Exactly. So this is triage, and then next year. Though. Alfie, I do want to say that I'm not convinced yet that we're going to have to do the work under 14. I'm not saying we won't. I'm just saying that's an expensive major operation. And it's going to take more than, given that we had prior reports that it was fine, it's going to take more to convince me, at least in my vote on the board, to spend the money. It's going to take more than someone saying, well, it's old, you ought to think about it. Well, Rob will know, Rob, when he has it opened up, yeah. he's going to run something yeah. through yeah. to make sure right. it's clear. So we'll know more, but we don't know now, in my view, enough to be sure. Right, I'm just wondering about the process. Yeah. Are we going to be having this conversation again next summer? when you determine that you do have to repair the whole thing. Right, yes, right. and then, and then we'll, 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 file another, we'll file another application. Yes. We'll have to get a permit from the state. We'll do everything the way you're supposed to do it. Okay. Well, and, I, and I'll say that's what you want, because we don't want to, we want to repeat this conversation. We'll have them more information. We'll know exactly. I know. I agree. Okay, yeah, so the answer we, that we all want is yes. Okay, so let me read what I've written down as conditions to make sure that we are capturing everything. So, number one, contractor will notify state of Vermont the project can secure necessary approval, which may just be verbal, I don't know how that works. Two, contractor develop and implement a traffic calming approach in coordination with the state and town. Three, contractor will replace backstreet apron to its existing condition, including replacing the sub base to its pre-project condition. Four, a uh, contractor will permit regular inspections by the town road commissioner. Anything else? The, and the material that's going to go back in is going to be, no, yeah. it will not contain frost. Yeah. It will be replaced with um, fresh material. Mm-hmm. With fresh, what, what do we say? Sub-base that, material. With, 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 with fresh, fresh replace the sub-base. <laughs> Material, I said replace sub base material to its pre project. Okay, replace with fresh, fresh, fresh sub base material, material to its pre project condition. Okay, good thing I hadn't written that one all the way down here. All right, so I've got four conditions. You guys just heard me. Mm-hmm. Alfred, did I capture everything? Everything that I've mentioned, yes. Did I capture everything you're concerned about? There's some uh, genesis that that's on your mind. It's just the time of year. It's a it's a bad time of year to dig up a road. No kidding. Yeah, not anything that's we that's wanted to have happen. That's for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For emergencies. Well, so so say more about that. What is the implication to the town beyond everything you've all before beyond what we've said? Is there something? It's a bad time of year. It'll be more expensive. It might take longer. Everybody's going to be colder. You're going to have to go out there in the cold and look at the project. What is there something about time of year that we haven't captured in the conditions? Probably if there's a snowstorm, this doesn't happen until long after that. It's cleaned up, right? Well, yeah, no, the road's closed. So we're not going to be able to clean it up anyway. Mm-hmm. The road will be closed through this process. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I mean, I, I is there a, is there a, we, we're going to allow two days, three days, five days? I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not trying to fight this job at all. Honestly, I'm not. No, I'm just man. trying to protect the town and right. the town's interest of, of, you know, and prevent you guys from being hammered with phone calls. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I know one person is definitely going to call. Yeah, so do I. So, no, no, <laughs> absolutely. And that's, that's, what, that's what, you know, I don't even know the language to use. So 150%, I, we are relying on you to articulate concerns and figure out how to address them. Right. Um, so, Rob, can you do this in two days, do you think? Is it a one-day thing? Is it an afternoon? I mean, yeah, I think two days is 
reasonable. Two days fair. Two days is reasonable. I, I think that's reasonable for for the taxpayers that are going to be. Just two days. Okay, two days is reasonable. Well, I, I don't think it's good to hamster. We don't know what's going to happen. We could have a rainstorm and things collapse. So I, I think the job gets done. We anticipate it will take no more than two days, but we can't bind them. We don't want them closing the ditch and then reopening it. We have to revisit this a month later. In the no, of that's where I was going too. If, it's, if you think it, if it's two days worth of work, it could take five to get it done if we have a snowstorm. Yeah. Well, you know, Dave, if we've got a well, storm. Storm. Mm -hmm. well, that's why I'm saying if it's going to storm, you know, Rob's going to have to So, 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 so we, can, we can write, we can say that, that, that the town, you know, that the, 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 that the applicant anticipates this is a two day project and that's, that's the expectation of right. the select board without making it a condition. Right. Just we can put say it that there so nobody forgets. The road commissioner makes the call of weather conditions and if the start date is appropriate. So if he could say, looks like snow, we're going to be plowing here, freezing rain, let's wait. So you call Alfred and Alfred says, today's a good, as good a day yeah, as any, go you know, for it. As long as he's like, okay, and then when a hurricane comes through in a tornado, yeah. it's not his fault. It's all of his fault. It's your fault. It's, it's that always tornado. my fault. But it's always my fault. You want it to be your fault. <laughs> <laughs> or he wants it to be your fault. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if, if something happens and this is going to take longer, then somebody needs to let me know because I have to let the tenants know so they can right. stay with mom a few more days. Right. And also, we should put something on Front Porch Forum. It's a road closure. Okay. Yeah. I have to do it when I'm just putting a call across. And maybe road. call that an entity on, up on the hill with the big trucks and make sure they know. That would oh, be uh, a Swenson? What? Swenson? Granted. Uh, he's thinking. Peg Bowen. Bowen's. The Bowen. Bowen Construction. They, they, they don't they move on. Uh, all their trailers are covered in plastic. And but that won't stop her from calling. Alfred, you, so said, you, know. you said somebody. Well, it's just good to let her know. Alfred, you said somebody should put this on a front porch forum. Is, is that an East Callis Community Trust? That's my question. question. Is that an East Callis or I mean, normally? I think we should do it, don't you? It yeah. should be. Yeah, we can, well, should make ECCT it a can, we do it. can do it. That the, a condition of the permit would be that ECCT post on the front porch forum um, the events to happen, start date. Potential end date. Yeah. I have one thing in this. Now, you're going to camera this as soon as he opens that break up. I don't know. Is he? No, that was never. That was what never. are you going to do? It's been same? cameraed. So I couldn't find it for... in those emails. Mm -hmm. Someone has like a recording of it, and maybe it was just because I was looking maybe at it. Maybe it was Bruce? Yeah. I, it could have been because I was on my phone that I couldn't have looked at it. but. Is well, that, the question I have is, because that's the time when you have that line open across to the main center, mm -hmm. that's the time to look at that. So is are that, you going to do it I thought so Harvey, that, you, because that determines whether you're going to do this big project or not. Right. Well, that we that have, determines all about Yeah, that's not really our jurisdiction. That's and it's not. And yeah, guys. If they want to do that, that's not our. Rick is my point. Rick knows that. that. But let me get to my point. Rob knows that. And that is, if it turns out that there is another project needed, Okay. At that point, this can't be repaved until you got 50 degree weather anyway, you know, that apron essentially. So, do you repave that or do you hold that as gravel until? I mean, well, otherwise, you're repaving it, you're breaking it back up again. To, what I think we would do, what I think, <clears throat> the way I think we'd handle that is if we find out that, let's say, one, we find out we need to do the, under the big project, two, we know we're going to do construction. Then I think we come back into the town and say we'd like to, we want to do the whole thing, and so we want to delay repaving until X. And either the town says no, in which case we have to pave it twice, twice, or the town says yes because the construction is coming along. I mean, I think it depends on the timing, which we don't know yet. Well, the question is, you got your line open. Yep. Is this the time to run? If you want a camera, if you don't have that. It's already been camera. And you, can do, it from, okay, yeah, so and you can do it from the back side. And it just adds another complication and a, a scheduling problem for me to try to do it in yeah, a time. That sounds good. I'm just asking the question. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate you looking out for us. Thank you. We'll be back. I think, you know, this is going to be a big project. Mm -hmm. I don't mean the little the line. <laughs> the, the whole, the whole the thing. Whole thing. Okay, so we've got
we've got now five conditions. The contractor notifying the state about the project and securing any necessary approval. Uh, developing and implementing a traffic calming approach in coordination with the state and the town, which means Alfred, so town road commissioner. Uh, contract will replace, contractor replace Backstreet apron to its existing condition, including replacing the fresh sub-base material to its pre-project condition. Four, permitting regular inspection by the town road commissioner. Five, uh, announcing a front porch forum. Six, tra contractor will contact the Mont Transportation. I've got them talking to the state twice so far. Oh, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I it. I'm sorry. Uh, the, on the project is generally and on traffic calling. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. okay. Um, and I've met, and the state is mentions. I didn't say V trans, but. So the only yeah. thing that we haven't addressed is the detour signage on the town roads, and I had asked Alfie if the town would be willing. To let me borrow the signs to keep the cost down, and then I would set yeah. them up. Um, so, did, did you say uh, that? I'm going to write there? traffic calming and or detour. Okay, I, I'll just put that right in here. Because depending on the, you know, the types of the signs, they could be acceptable for in the V trans uh, shoulder closure. Uh, mm -hmm. Towns have like a lower. Um, grade of signs that are acceptable for the threshold reflective i think um no i think we all have to follow the is the, it the BC okay so the there's not yeah. right, well, okay. well, well the speed's lower so that's this, yeah but that doesn't it's 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 a federal guideline that you yeah, that yeah, any yeah, construction yeah. site uses the mutsi book book and design to oh, yeah. for yeah. any closure or so that opens up another question. And I, I'm absolutely happy to lend the signs and help you even set them up. But does that, does that invite uh, the town as liability? It's their signs. The town's done this before. Uh, when I put a water line across my road, back when John Singleton was commissioner, doesn't mean it's it right, though, John. Doesn't I'm just saying, right. I'm just saying that yeah. there's all precedent for that. All the time. Okay, so you know what? So you know things. what? We'll get our, we'll, we'll rent our home signs. No problem. Yep. Okay, so we have five conditions. Two involving notification to the state. One relating to replacing the road back to its condition. I'd like the town to provide the signs if, if needed. Uh, uh, you, you, uh, you're not going to get signs in these. Uh, necessarily, I mean, this is going to be. No, I want to try to learn from this one. Okay. Do we? Do we? Need, but listen, guys, do we need to discuss at the select board whether the town? I mean, no. isn't it within Alfred's Alfred's pure view to decide whether we're going to load? No, Seems like well, Alfred was concerned about liability of the town. That's our purview. That is our whether purview. Not, I've, I've been in this room many times. Right, right. Contractors coming in, yeah, and doing doing a site job, asking for a permit. And we say you have to provide your own signs. Right. Okay. We've done that for. Right. for you know what? Right. But this is. Firm. But this is a small community store that we have been supporting grants for. Yeah. That and we're holding the money too. for. Yeah. That the John. town is supporting. And I'm trying to limit. Yeah. And, and we would do this. I would yeah. hope for any yeah. resident. Uh, John, yeah. I agree with you. It's a small project. It would be lovely. However, however. Alfred makes a, a valid point that many times we require. And secondly, we have two members sitting at our table. We do not need any appearance no. that, none, 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 none. No, I Denise is offering, we will do our own signage. The ECCT board is offering, we stay above reproach if we just let them yeah. do no, it. No, I want to do everything total above board, total. Well, I, I, don't, I, just, I just want to say, I just don't want this to be the precedent for like so, um, the folks who bought uh, Dave, David Morse's and Catherine Morse's place, they're going to be putting a water line in next spring. Does he have to go out and rent signs from Blow and Cody so, in order to put a bloody water line? I, I would hope that we're not going to get to that point. So let's, so let's have, it's a different conversation. To me, it's reason enough that there are two members of the select board who are very active in this project to say not this project good discussion for another day not this project no, we'll, do our own, we'll, do our own, we'll do our own signs we want no favors 
And and in that, we're, what the precedent we're setting is where we where we have any perceived conflict, we are being way above reproach, and I really respect that, and appreciate yeah, that. It's a different conversation when it's yeah. yeah. Now we want to do that. Thing. Above board, no favors. Do well, I don't see. Favors. I don't. I don't see it as favor. I think that's a community responsibility. I think. Okay. I appreciate it, John. I really yeah. do. Taxpayers but we both, no, I'm not. I'm not doing you a favor, Denise. I'm just no, saying. No, no. I'm just I don't saying. want to become so damn litigious that we can't do anything for our citizens anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I it's agree with you. It's just uh, early litigation minded. But we'll, we're going to do it right. We're off to the side. Yeah, it's not this. I'm sorry, I'm just being cheap. It's not that. <laughs> they're not that. That's a, they're not that expensive. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. And I think I think we can have. I don't disagree with you, John or Denise. And I mean, we can have this conversation when all it is is does the town want to you know loan some signs? Yeah. Yeah. There might be a little you know. There's reasons to think about it differently here. So all right. we are on, right on Route 14. So we want to make sure everything is good. Right. Uh, okay, five conditions. I've said them a couple of times. Alfred, anything you want to add? No, I'm not. Rob, anything we're not thinking about? ECT folks, anything else we, you guys want to no, add? No, whatever, however you want us to do it, we are happy to do it. Okay. Uh, are we ready for a motion? Which I assume is. I move to... that we approve this right away. Incursion permit, whatever you call it. Use right away, use permit with the conditions okay. as stated. I second. Okay, any other discussion, questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? I'm abstaining. And Staying. you guys are, are recused. You're not abstaining, you're just plain old recused. Yeah, yeah whatever, right. whatever the yeah. right word is. Right. Yep. Okay, so we are issuing this work approval today. Katie, did you get all of the conditions? Katie, I'll, I'll literally type them up and email them to you. I might get myself another. Well, I'm not going to get myself in the I'm going to have you guys sign this. Yeah. But you could have, this is just a suggestion, you could have, give those conditions to Katie, type them up, and then you could I'll attach, you could attach it. And send it. Yeah. You could attach it then to the... That's okay. a good idea. Yeah, Katie, I will, so because I've got little carrots and things going on in here. Yeah. Right. But and it, there. it has to get recorded in the land record, so we want it to be clear. Yeah. All right. We're good. Oh, they're taking a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Going over the corner. I thought they were hiding out with the sign. It's a Cowell's tradition. At 8 o'clock, we always do that. Did you sign it? No, we're just sending the conditions to Katie. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Katie, you're going to still struggle with my with the all of the little... Well, you're going to type them up, though. So oh. and, and so we know, too. Yeah, I will type them up. Yeah, you got to take the pen with you. Oh, I've got the Okay, are we done with this? Yes, yeah. we're done with that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rob. I brought these are Thanks, these Rob. are all in things. All in things. Up my eye. Cookies my mom made. Oh, and these and this topic that is yeah. gluten free, egg free. There's a third. The one oh, I would all of my sisters can't have, but they're all very good. Not yeah. the same, but my sisters are really good cook. Okay. Um, all right. So moving on, Alfred. Do you have any other updates on the road crew? Uh, they got off and started. Now they're temporary. I worked in this week. Uh, he's. He's committed to 24 hours a week for us. That's really good. Okay, perfect. Our full time guy is scheduled to start January 17th. Yes.
Was it Friday? I forget the dates kind of all been melted together. Just because I'm out of state, don't mean I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> No, we're not going to talk to you, too. So. Yes. Um, so it was nice to see Dana there. Yep. Um, and I think they did a good job. I mean, you can't put sand down on freezing rain, and then it freezes yeah. over the top, and then you put some over sand down, well, and it freezes over the top. Were, they got done sanding at 12 o'clock, and at 2 o'clock, they were iced right over again. Yep. I mean, when it's raining like that, it just... And, and it doesn't take much. I don't believe it ever got above freezing through that whole storm. No, I don't think it did. You know, so that was that was a challenge. And yesterday morning, I was delighted to hear that we got some snow on top of it because mm -hmm. snow actually sticks to the ice and. Ice and I want to know that. But it's uh, um, it's great. I mean, my road. I slid down my driveway and stopped just because of the road was really well sanded. Yeah. Yeah. The brownies are amazing. Um, I'd rather have almonds. Thank you. So we're going to supposedly get another rainstorm over the weekend again. I heard. Recording in progress. Come next, yeah. So where did my people go? There it is. So, anyways. Um, Anyway, I think they, they did a great job. I'm sorry they had to do it all, all Christmas Day. Yeah. Um, but it's much appreciated. Yeah. Even, well, even though it's their job and they get paid, it's still appreciated. Right. I'll be certain to pass it on. Yeah. yeah. Well. Anyways, um, how are you guys coming with reviewing the operations, the winter operations plan, and what we might do going forward to provide well, you know, I've actually got all of uh, we're, what we've got, we've got it down to a couple of sentences, basically. And I'm going to type that up so we can the, relax it. The you know, contingency plan? Or the yeah, well, plan. a contingency plan. We talked about this before, keeping it really basic. Right. Really, so Alfred and Toby and I met, when well, I've got to just type it up and give it to us. And we've but, talked about having it kind of as an attachment to the winter operations plan. Yeah, right. Well, I think what well, we will try to is it will be that it'll be in the winter operation too, right? So yeah, it yeah. should be able to stand alone. You know, but you know, essentially, I think it's it's not going to set a time limit because mm -hmm. we can't, depending on we, you know, it all it varies from. Uh, you know, the plan B would be right. You know, essentially, we're going to be saying, in the event that we have an extreme event. On the day of the event, when Alfred's able to determine what that yeah. rodeo time is going to be, we will you know, post that. Or that will be posted. We'll inform the select board chair or however we go yeah. to do that. And then okay. make that determination of what the B, the, the, you've got your primary routes and then the... Yeah. Well, I know you guys have been working on budget and stuff, but no, just don't forget this, no, please. Sure and I know we have the holidays and, and then we've had weather. So I just don't want to lose it no, on the radar. Yeah, right. We, we sat down for what three hours, now and through. Uh, we, he and Toby and I. Okay. So you're going to gonna bring it back to us. Yeah. I will. Okay. Maybe we should. Yeah. I'm just going to. I'm just going to leave it on the agenda. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um. Anything else, Alfred? Uh, for us. Got a few updates on the trucks. I don't know if you want to report by that, but. Uh, if it's quick, because it's not on the agenda. Yeah, do we need them? Nope. nope. Just thought you cared, that's all. I do. I do. I do. Okay. So so make it just make it quick. So we we uh, are borrowing a truck from Charlie Boys uh, Truck Center. Uh, I asked them if they had anything. He pulled some trains and we have one of his trucks in our shop right now. It's not our color, but it works really well. It's and blue. What's the rate per day per mile? That's absolutely free. They're, bought, they're lending it to us. Wow. wow. They, gave us a, they gave us a, a dealer plate. So insurance is all covered under that plate. They're just lending it to us. Boy, they're awesome. Wow. Because we buy trucks from them, we're going to buy more trucks from them. Um, so that's bailed us out greatly. Huge. Um, Great. Our spare truck has, is back in the fleet. 
That's oh, the yeah. one with the, cl with the clutch, mm -hmm. blowed out. The uh, Swanton guy was good. He was good, cost us a little more than what he thought uh, because there was extras in there that, you know. Pressure plate damage or? Well, the pressure plate damage. was able to turn it and so it would cost us much more for that. That was included in his price, but the transmission lines were all rotted out and they disintegrated when he went to take it apart. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit more than what, yeah. he, what he quoted. I so know he did not. He tried to charge me a thousand dollars for the tow. I said no. That's not what you were. What I was quoted. So I got him back to what he quoted me was yeah. four hundred. He forgot. He well between the administration, he yeah. talked to me on the phone. Yeah. The normal rate is X. That's what they charge me. And I said no. This is this is not what I was quoted. So I beat him down to the what he actually quoted me. Okay. So that's back in action and still no parts for the CD. What? Um, oh, is that the pickup truck? That's the one that truck, out. the smallest yeah, truck. Yeah, the new expensive truck. Uh, but I do have, I talked to this guy in Swanton about availability of parts. He said we went through this a month ago, we had a truck sitting here for a month and He's got a company in Canada that retrofits these lines. Oh, good. So he left me a message today, wasn't able to hear it, because uh, today was a holiday for us. Tomorrow I'll get that message and see what he has to say about that. So I'm very hopeful that, though, that he can get those parts Great. Uh, made for us mm -hmm. and get that truck back online. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so I'm, like I said, I'm hopeful, but it's been sure. over a month now with that truck, so I, I'm not, I know, you know. So, good. Uh, so yeah. that's sort of where we are with the truck situation. Our our personnel is tired after the weekend, but uh, they didn't have to go out today, did they? They did not. Okay, no. good. So they got a chance to no. have a rest. Good. Yeah. So we didn't go out at all today, but tomorrow they're stocking snow tonight, so we'll be back out again tomorrow. Okay. Um, Very good. So, if there's no other questions, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming in on your day off. All right. Very good. Have a good night. All right. Thanks. Oh, good job. Okay. Uh, for one letter of support and different letter of support. So Nick Emlin had contacted me and I, I think I sent it, everything around to everybody. So anyways, you saw the letter um, that I signed for this capital investment program grant for Maple Corner Store. So that's just something that the timing, the way it happened was in between meetings, but ECCT apparently has the same letter. Is that in the folder? Yes. I have it. Yes. I have it here. Is it in the folder too? Uh, the folder? Did you give it to Katie to put it in the folder? I saw it. Too. Uh, I, it I, uh, oh, here it is. I made I made edits. So the Would one, yeah, the one that I, the edits that I made are minor. I moved commas. Um, I moved commas. So it's, so it's substantially the same. It is substantially the same. Uh, so, Denise, we, are we going to ratify like, through some yeah, motion? Sure. So, yeah, so I would make a motion that we ratify the letter. Um, we could do them together, so if you guys are not going to vote. Then yeah, we can have a vote. Right. So let's ratify the letter of December 23rd as requested by the Maple Corner Community Store Board and a letter of support. It doesn't commit, a letter of support, just so we're clear, right. it's on like this one or the other one or any other letter of support, it commits the town to nothing. Yeah. Right. It's just saying we support this project, it doesn't commit us any staff time, any money, nothing. Right. 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 So um, I make a motion that we ratify the December 23rd letter of support from Maple Corner Community Store for their uh, grant request to Vermont Capital Investment Program. So moved. Second. <laughs> all right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, next up. 
So, same and, uh, Denise, can I just put, can I make a comment? This is Nick. I just jumped in. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to acknowledge uh, Jeremy for having, on very short notice, put the letter together. Uh, he referenced the town, Cal's town plan, and uh, the select board is gracious in pushing this through for us. We are on a very short timeline, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, in a similar yeah. vein, we have a request from the East Cal's Community Trust for a letter of support. Um, for a Same program? for the, Same thing. a VDCP grant. That was the community investment capital investment grant, grant application yes. from, for ECCT to right. the Agency of Commerce and Community Development. Right. And yeah, I have copies of the letter here for John and Rick, and as a courtesy to Denise. And and we'll, so, um, Rick and John, we need a motion to approve our support and then we can sign the letter. So, who would get our other survey? I'll second. I have a question. Yeah. How does this, does this get, um, somebody scan? Somebody's got to scan it, send it to Liz, I think. To Liz Curry? Yeah. Okay. I have an email from Liz about what, what, to do, she, what right. she wants to do and what letters right. she wants to attach to it. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we have a motion I seconded. John, you have any questions? No. Rick? Right. Right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Recuse. Recu and Recuse. two are recused. Okay. Can I just suggest? One of the things that I would really love us to consider as a board is, is when we know that there are projects like this going on in town, if we had a point person who, well, what Denise said earlier, it literally is nothing except the town's support. supporting. So we could say as a, as a board, uh -huh. the project is happening, love the project, go team. If they need a signature on said letter, John is our guy, he'll sign it. And then John gets five minutes at every select board meeting to report on all the various things he's been working on, including, oh, and by the way, I signed a letter of support. You usually want to vote at the select board. Right. Really? Plus, plus, every plus, single time? Plus, I didn't even know that Maple Corner Community Store was applying for this, so there'd be no way to know. Yeah, that's, um, un that's unusual. Uh, well, it, it doesn't mean we wouldn't know. I mean, because, because we... Well, they have a letter. You know what, I'll, just, I'll do. Let me talk to Liz. If, if it isn't required, if they usually don't need a vote, I think that's a great If they need a vote, then my idea is... Right, but is if they don't, vote. I think your idea is a great idea. But yeah. if they don't need a vote, then we can do these, you know, things that are... Don't commit us to anything. Don't commit us to anything, and then we don't... And then we don't, we're also not holding up a project, you know, because yeah. we've ended up having... Yeah. Sure. Okay. And it's okay. always last minute. And it's always last minute. Yeah. 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 Point taken. I think. Sure. Um, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Did you guys vote? We yeah, did. did. You did because we. Well, we're three to two. Yeah. Okay. We're three to two. <laughs> so that's support for the three. Three. No, it was unanimous for the three right. members of the board. Okay, so we have a lot more work to do, so let's move on. Um, just for a little back, how did John, I mean, uh, Mark and Sandra and I met two or three times. Mark and I met a couple times. Sandra and Mark and I met two or three times. I forget. So what you have before you are two scenarios um, that we can look at. And these were our best best ideas to put forth, I guess is what we'll call it. Um, Mark did a spreadsheet with two tabs, you see. So just a comment real quick mm -hmm. on what these really are, guys. Mm -hmm. So essentially, as you recall, we went through as a group all the line items except well we went through all of them we went through all of them then rick i'm just going to quickly summarize rick did a lot of work to double check line highway uh, the oh, highway so wages line so 181 and it changed by 5k or something like that not a lot 
Denise and I went through an exercise. Of, well, how the hell could we get ourselves down to below a 3% increase? And we realized, really, there was only one way to do it, which was to try to reduce, to keep the idea that we wanted to maintain capital funds, both for highway and for the buildings that we own, but that this year, we couldn't quite get there. You know, the full the, amount that we wanted to. The full amount that we wanted, so we reduced the, we reduced the, budget the highway the, capital budget and the highway capital budget and the budget for this building and the other by some you know like two thirds so the buildings but fifty percent for the highway and I will say with the highway just one thing uh, to clarify. When you, which line do you want me to go? Uh, line 283, 284. Essentially one two seventy nine essentially what what we did was we realized, you know, in the past, as I understood it from Sandra, the payments, the 42000 and the 3000 they weren't budgeted. They came out of the capital fund, which is not good policy. So this year, we're putting it in the budget, which is an extra $45,000. So we said, well, this year, let's not quite put aside, let's aim for a larger set aside for capital, but this year let's not. Right. And Rick is hard at work on a whole systemic analysis of what it would take on the highway budget side to really have a really good capital fund. Including depreciation mm -hmm. and everything. All those things. We don't have to get into all that tonight because that will take a lot okay. of time. So in sum, we have what that yields for us is it keeps us just under 3%. So then we... Well, let's... Did, let's but wait, also, I want to... It is just take a minute. But we I did do an exercise of saying, what if we reduced our, um, our wage increases to 5% rather than 5.9%? But Mark, you're missing a piece that's important yeah. before you go to that is Rick had put in a $40,000 request for this capital. Right, we put that to 20. Okay, so it's 20, 20, 20, 000, 20 000, yeah. instead of 40,000. Okay, so that got us under 3%. I went through the exercise, asked Sandra and Rick helped to do this exercise. What if we wanted to reduce it to 5%? And the reason I wanted to do that was simply, would it generate enough extra cash that maybe the select board could think about whether it wanted to do that and not take so much out of the capital funds. Well, guess what? It yields almost no extra money. I mean, it yields, I think my calculation is less than $5,000. 0.9% of the total yeah, salary. Yeah, it's, right? just, it's yeah. just not that much. So my, so the second option, the 5% option, is almost identical to the 5.9%. Right. Yeah. And we won't know... Um, what the CPI for December is until <coughs> early part of January. Yeah. Well, and and what when you say that, Denise, what you're what you're saying to with to say it with more precision, we won't know the rolling twelve month CPI for the month right. ending in December. Ending December. Right. Until it's, it's, it's the January. twelve month. Right. Yeah. And that's what we want. And that's what we want to look at. Well. To some degree, to some de to some degree, and I think that that either we, in a way, either we do or we don't. Because let's be honest, the only reason we want to look at that is because we've had this practice, we've had a documented practice that I've kept notes on over right. every, trying, right. just like Mark's one percent. Like let's have some principles and what work is doing on the highway. Trying to have right. some principles around salary. How does it work? Right. So that we're basing on document. Right. We want to, we want to right. Base. But it always. But 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 that was capped. That concept was capped at three. Right. And so. So if, I guess so. So in my mind, capped at three, and we don't. We can anticipate that it, the CPI is going to be over that, right? And I so, right. And so, really, the question is, 
if we wanted to cap at three, we would cap at three. But I think, I mean, I thought we'd already decided. We did. That, and I, and I went, not that I fully bought in. I know. But right. as a board, that we're, we're going to go to 5.9. We're going to go to 5.9 right. or, or. But I think we want to document for the record that our goal is and has been and going forward will continue to be that it's 3%. But these are difficult circumstances, these are difficult times, and this year is not, um, what's the right word I'm looking for? This is not a precedent setting yeah, year. It's, it's an, except, this it's is an, an exception. exceptional situation. It's an but exception. To, to be clear for our listening and viewing audience, um, this is not, now first off, we're putting money in a budget up to 5.9% that would, could go, that could be expended. Could be expended. Uh, um, yeah. On salaries, right, right, right. Salary and benefits or salaries, um, salaries, um, but it still remains within the discretion of select board. If we expend that much, and how much of that, or or how we allocate that, that's always been something we then will talk about later on right. in the spring. That's well, we one. Have, number two. Be, and then because number two, I just want to let me finish. But I have a question for you. And that is something we vote on in July, correct? For July. Well, for, 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 for July 1st for the salary yeah, increases, right? right? Okay. It would be nice if we didn't wait until July. Yeah. yeah because, because that's where we get ourselves in trouble. Yeah. So, right. so the other thing is, just to, this is why I want to make clear to taxpayers who may or may not be interested in this meeting, um, is that this, if we were to say, say the uh, CPI, which is a consumer price index, which is, uh, and we use the regional CPI, which is a regional indicator of inflation. They look, the federal government looks at parameters and they, they arrive at a number every, each and every month for the previous 12 months, of which Sharon was making reference to. If, if, say, staff were granted a, say, the CPI that came out for the month, uh, uh, the 12 months, Prior to January 2022, let's say it was 5.9% average across those 12 months, and we granted a 5.5% increase to staff. It, that is not a raise in pay. That keeps people. It's a it's a raise in dollar amount, but essentially it's to keep our employees whole, so that they're not making less this year than they made last year. Inflation is just that. Your dollar is worth 5.9% less. So you add this to their existing salaries so that they, they stay in the same place. Raises are some, another a separate discussion. I just wanted to put that out there. Good point. Because people misunderstand that. They yeah. think it's a bonus or something. No, and I think that we need to say that when we... Right. Yeah, no, good point. Folks who collect Social Security understand that fully. Right. <laughs> I do think, though, it's important to emphasize something that was said the last time we discussed this, which is the 3% policy is there because with it's not a policy. Well, it is a policy. No, it's a goal. No, it wasn't. It was it's a, not a written policy. It is a written policy. No, it's not. No, it's, it's written. It, I wrote it down. Sure, it's notes. I wrote it down because we can never remember. And so... I wrote okay, it down so that we have a very policy. clear right. record okay. of what we did. But anyway, it was there because we were trying to balance the interest in keeping our employees whole with the needs of the taxpayers to not have their taxes go up too much. Right. And some of them aren't in, in jobs that are inflation adjusted. Right. So, That's true. Okay. So what we're I think we're saying is that COVID, it's COVID. COVID has created such exceptional problems that this year we are going to use an inflation index. What I think someone said last well, time. Uh, we've always used an inflation index, but we. We capped it. At well, that, that, we never got to that point, but yeah. we said there, there, we had a conversation okay. about where is there a limit to this? Yeah. What, and, 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 we, and we could not have anticipated, like Kentucky could right. anticipate the tornado of right. COVID, right? Okay, so what I think, what I heard, and I, is a good idea, is that next year, if we see a situation where high inflation is continuing, 
we're going to have to reevaluate the whole thing. This, you know, we're just going to have to. We're not committing either to some cutoff. We're not committing to high follow inflation wherever it goes. Right. We're simply dealing with this year, which is a COVID year, and we'll deal with next year, right. next year. I think, so, that, I think that we have all said this in a different way. Well, so I think it's there on the record. I, w I wanna add a comment though, that some of the things that have found their way into the thinking, the framework this year, um, Mark's, this is just not something I, I didn't know this. I've never worked in buildings. I don't know that 1% is a good one percent of the value of the building is a is a good <coughs> benchmark or you know whatever for a capital reserve fund to maintain the building. Rick, Rick, Rick is bringing similar thinking around around highway. My experience closest to this in budgeting is thinking about what are the parameters for personnel. You know how do you think about that? So I see what I see congealing here is a set of budget principles that to me all belong in one you know thinking in one place we have them in our notes but what we're what we are have articulated at different times is budgeting principles that we are starting to apply and it's our responsibility i do think whether we call it po it's it's not a policy but it is principles and and i will i will update that document that i've been managing to incorporate some of these other principles because, I mean, doesn't the work get so much easier when you have the principles and you're not trying to figure it out? You're not trying to figure it out every year or defend it or you're just, this is what we, this is what well, we it's just, it's, it's, it's just It's just good management practices going forward. Exactly. And it's it creates a stability and a predictability. And that's what we want. That's so critical for everybody. I would actually... I don't so, know where this fits. I have. I want to steer a different direction. I, I mean, really. Okay. Are we going to go through this? Budget? I, before we do that, I want to ask you guys because a couple of things. I I left the last meeting on the thirteenth with the expectation that we were all going to get the notes from that night in our inbox and you know in an Excel spreadsheet by the end of the week, and so. You know, it's, I didn't have it printed out that night. I have my notes from the 6th, which is when I was at home and able to print it, and I took good notes. I don't have notes from the 13th. So I would, so I was, like, earlier today, I was printing out what we got yesterday, trying to compare it to, I can only compare it to the 6th, because I don't have any notes from the 13th. And then what I understood from, yes. both from looking at this and, and from what you just said, Mark, is it, I think you guys met between the 13th and now. I was expecting, when I opened up the email from Denise yesterday, I was expecting to see something that was basically a capture of what we did on the 13th. I think this is. Well, it's, it, there's definitely some things where it goes beyond. The only difference, just to clarify, this is absolutely identical to what you went over on the 13th, except, except. the following. Okay. One, the highway wage is slightly different because of Rick's work. It's refined, it's $5,000 lower. Yeah. Okay, two, the highway contingency, or what, excuse me, the highway capital fund, it's instead of being 40, fund. reserve fund, instead of being 40, is 20. Three, the budget for for the reasons you just said yes it's helpful as a, as a principal you said we're not going to be able to get to three percent and that explains one of the, the things i was like where did the well i found a couple one it one was we had three thousand on the town hall and you guys knocked it down to 1500 right. so now i totally understand where that came That's from and There's the other was this building went from twelve thousand to eight i think what line is so we do eight yeah, can you give us line numbers? Try yeah, to... yeah. Town Hall Reserve Fund 149 is 6. That's right. Well, hang on. I've got to print it out, though. So 149, Town Hall, Town Clerk. Yeah, it went 
The town hall reserve fund was 12. Last year, it was five. This year, it was going to be 12. One okay. For FY23. For yeah. FY23, and we made it six. Okay. And reasoning being? We just can't. We it's can't more than we did last year, but it, we can't get there. They okay. just, it, we, it, but the thing is, we can't eat the whole amount that we should be doing all at once. The same thing with the Highway Capital Reserve Fund. We know we need to do it. We have to take it in, in small bites so, instead of all at once. Also, so, I do want to add, although I have to caveat this, with a brand new building or a building that's been just rehabilitated, it's a little less urgent that right. you absolutely put away every cent that you should. This right. is not something that we want to do as a practice continuously. Right. This is what I mean. So, but in years. answer to your question, those are the three the only changes. Well, uh, so so what I've heard as a broad principle is, uh, our principle is 1% value of the building, that's our principle. Um, but if, if we can't meet our budget goals and do that, what you guys are proposing is that that 1% be knocked down to a half. Right. And you did that across the board. Yep. And then you did some tinkering with highway stuff, because Rick's been working on that, which is great. And then, what was the, wasn't there a third? No, that's it. That's it. Okay. Well, there so, was the, the final wage incorporation, the two um, exercises. Well, the five and the 5.9. So, yes. okay, but, but yes, okay. Um, so I think my request is, and we're probably close to done, but I don't want to wish in six weeks that I've made this request tonight. If we make changes tonight, I don't know who's capturing them for everybody, but can we all get the same notes so that I know, I, so that I have an anchor for this conversation? It, that would have been helpful. This conversation, and then Denise. Oh, and Denise and Mark did some more work, and now we've got a new, we've got a new thing. So you want us to take out the comments? No, I no, the I comments add to them. The comments don't actually explain everything yeah. that, that Mark just What I think verbally. we need to do is we need to put in the comments, which we can do. Yeah, we can do that. We can put in the comments those three changes explained. I we can say our target, our target was forty thousand, subject to much more refinement next budget year. But we had to cut it to twenty. We can say our target was one percent or twelve thousand. But we cut it to six this year. We can put it in there. Is that, what, is that what you're looking for? Well, more specifically, or perhaps just plain on repeating myself, we're going to go through this tonight just like we did on the 13th. There, I was expecting that we were all going to get the notes from the 13th so that we would all have that level playing field as a, sep as a different version then, oh, and Mark and Denise did some more work, so here's that version. Here's what we talked about on the 13th, but Mark and Denise sharpened the pencils and did some more. So, so what I was missing in trying to prepare for the meeting is that I'm looking at this, I'm like, wait a minute, this is not what we talked about on the 13th. I don't know where this came from. Now I'm confused. Um, and it's hard enough, <laughs> it's hard enough to try to, be on top of it, um, and I really did try, and you know, and so I mean, look, you guys, I have four different versions with my notes and everything. I've really been trying to pay attention to this, and so missing the again, we left on the 13th with Sandra was gonna, you know, boom, 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 get this out to all of us that week. So, and and I was kind of expecting that and instead we got something yesterday that had that was you know some version of something different so i've said enough about that the other thing then so what i was going to ask you to do is go through and say okay where were we on the 13th but i think you've mostly explained it the one that i haven't heard an explanation for is the select board assistant inexplicably uh, yes. dropped from 22.5 down to 12.5 and that, I, I just stand really, really firm. We need to hire a select board assistant to do various things, um, to do 
yeah, to do to do a lot of things that Denise is doing now. For a while, she was our paid select board assistant. Now she's an unpaid select board assistant. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Katie took on several several functions um, that I was doing, and now I think the workload has evened out because everybody has stepped up to the plate to take she, on projects. She is right. We did cut it. There's two possible approaches there. One is we see it as a new position that's an important one, but we don't know if it's full time. And we don't know how much it's going to be. And we don't know how much, how, whether or not it will be for the full fiscal year. So that was our thinking in reducing the amount. But it was driven, just like everything else, the others that we said, it was just driven by the desire to save some money. And also, I mean, I've, I've been saying for probably two years, I know Sandra has said it repeatedly, we need a grant coordinator. And we've had discussion about how important it is that we manage, maintain our grants. And they are, some in some cases, some is at the town garage, some is at people's houses. And, you know, I sent something to the town office to um, ask them, put it in a file and it had to do with the grants and the note I got back is we have no grants administrator so therefore there's nobody to file this document apparently from our town office yep so Denise so you say so that's that's a problem that doesn't nobody, sound very collaborative you know. is this position are you saying you think the grants this position should be a grant. That I, I mean, I see that as a huge deal. If we get audited and we are getting more and more grants, thanks to Toby, mm -hmm. ARPA money, all the stuff, we have to <coughs> have these grants managed and maintained in a way that's going to be an audit, especially a federal audit. Right. But right. but why are they why are they necessarily two different positions? We're we're just naming different. You know, I've sent things that were, were just plain old us to the town office and similarly got a phone call that said, I don't know what to do with it. And like, well, there's select board files over there. I, said, I assume that most of the time it was something that I was sitting as chair because you were recused. But that tells me that there's a Denise function. No, it's not. Well, it's not my function. I'm not the, I'm not a grant, the grant. No, 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 it wasn't a grant. It, was a it wasn't a grant. It was something that we signed during COVID. You know, I signed on behalf of the board and I sent it to the town office so they would have the original with my signature on it. And I got, what am I supposed to do with this? And, well, and that's what's happening to Exactly. Me. And so, 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 but grants related or not, there's some coordination of, of select board record keeping there's more we should be doing around framework for policies that we never look at. I mean, us showing up, being prepared for a meeting is enough for a volunteer board. Having somebody who, who, who runs the machine around us so that, you know, somebody who knows it's, it's time for us to be reviewing this policy, it's time to appoint for this position, it's, you know, somebody who's got a different vantage point on the whole framework is is eluding us, I guess. Well, anyway, I, anyway well, I mean, we can get into the details of what we need, but, but right now we're just on the anything, budget. Anything that you got back is similar to what I've got back, only to deal with grants. That's like that was eight or ten months ago. I got a question. But we still don't have, but what I'm saying is we need a grants person now. Okay, I, I have a question here, folks. But F the FY22 budget, we allocated 22.5 for toward a select board assistant if we could get one. We did not hire into that position, but there were some duties that were paid Katie, for. Katie um, took on some additional responsibility. So how much of that 22.5 was expended? Do we know? None. Well, how did we find, find Katie? It was coming out of a different line. It was coming, Katie, we upped her hourly rate. Remember? Okay. Okay, and yeah. she took on additional duties. She's given us notice. All right. So I think, I mean. So, so in terms of this 22.5, we have a 22.5 surplus in theory from for this fiscal year. 
That's not yet. We will, I hope. Um, if we're not expanding that and we don't anticipate that we're going, or maybe we will hire someone mid year. Right. This is a conversation. Right, exactly. Happening. You know what happened? Yeah. Even happened yeah. Right. So, 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 but, but to the extent we don't, we we might be able to fund the the balance of that twelve yeah. five. We're already halfway through the year. The missing part of the fuller full line item twenty two five. We went up twelve five. So ten to ten thousand that's been reduced from that line item for FY twenty three. We might go to fill in that gap. With surplus, in terms of what the taxpayers feel, not in terms of we have to put in a budget, but and I think we were on track, and then COVID hit, and everything kind of yeah right. So, but anyways, I mean I don't know that tonight's the night to have this discussion. We need to finish. Well, up I just want to make sure I'm did. comfortable with this number. Yeah right. Yeah. I, because, no, that's fine. I'm talking about the. Other you're talking about a grants administrator, um, and if the grants administrator is going to out of the line item for select board assistant, I would rather see a portion of the select, if the select board assistant, as we envision that individual, if they were hired tomorrow, one of their major duties would be grant administration. Right. right? Well, so, so, if you could find somebody. But, 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 let me, let me, hear me So, um, to the extent that we are not, we don't hire a select board assistant, but we may hire a grant coordinator, as it's termed here. Um, that doesn't fit under the line select board assistant. So I would suggest that we break that line into two pieces and we zero out select board assistant, if that's what we want to do, or split the dollars, or however you want to do it. But I think there's dual roles here because we may not be fully outfitting the select board assistant position, but only a portion of the roles and responsibilities. I think it could be two positions, but, right, it, could, but, it, could, but it could also be, depending be on the person, person yeah. it could be one person doing both. We no, don't, I understand. We don't, we don't know yet. So I, I would like to leave that opportunity open. You know, uh, no, I know, I know, but we could do that. It's like Sandra is our treasurer, but she also does tax collection. So we have two line items, yeah. mm -hmm. but they combine yeah. into her larger total yeah. salary. And yeah. I, I, it, I'd like to see the function split um, and have the other duties like board assistant on one and we can allocate in that way it's, it's easy. I don't want someone being hired to do grant coordinator and then they're, but we don't, we don't anticipate they'll be a select board assistant. Maybe they lack some functions mm -hmm. that we're seeking and we want to continue to seek. I don't want that person to be offended. I don't want that person to assert rights to a position that they don't hold. So. Uh, I, I, I just think it's, it's we important that we delineate. So, 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 what we, so what you're asking is, is we add another line item, and I think yeah. Sandra, Sandra can do that. She can Grants add administrator, another. select board assistant, I don't know how we want to divvy it up, divvy up the spoils there. Mm -hmm. Maybe we zero the select board assistant. I, no, I, I, don't, I don't know how you want to do no, that. I don't think we should zero it. I would want to... You want I to mean, split it in half? I would want, I would want to take the 22.5 and split it in half. Go back to our number that we've been carrying, split that in half. That's, that's what I would prefer. And, def and define it mm -hmm. as two different lines and two different positions. Okay. Um, okay. That works. And, and I, like, I like that approach because even if you have the same person, you retain the integrity of two different functions mm -hmm. so that you're able to exactly. have accountability to two different functions. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, no, that works. Like so that's going to bump it up a little bit. Right. So I'm, Sam, I'm calculating it, right? But, you know, in reality, it's not going to increase it to the taxpayers in the near term because we're going to, we have a surplus. Right. Mm -hmm. We anticipate a surplus. Right. right. Yeah. Right. So Sandra, can you change and make two separate lines? You got to take yourself off mute. We can't. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to each line 11 to 50? Yes. 12. No, eleven two fifty. One each line, eleven yeah. two fifty. Yeah. That that is uh, twenty two five and yes. a half. Yes. Yep. 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 Please. Yep. Okay. Is so that if, if we do that? Well, and if and if you have the and let me just throw this out too. If you have the right, if you have the uh, the right administrative assistant, they would be doing what Kate is doing at the cost of forty seven fifty. So I'm just throwing that out there because a select board assistant. 
should be doing what Katie's doing. Well, right. So there, right. so there's the forty-seven fifty. Right. There already. comes forty-seven fifty. Right. That's already part of. Right. Right. So because so that could, because what she's doing, the pieces she's doing are subsumed within a broader right. slug yep. assistant yep. role. Right. And then. Okay. I just want to okay. throw that out there. Okay, right. So we'll have a separate line item. But and the total will be twenty two, right? Twenty two, yeah. Okay. Twenty two five. Eleven two fifty and eleven two fifty equals okay. twenty two five. Okay. Yeah. So if you add that in, I think we're just we're gonna be north of three percent. Not a whole hell of a lot, but we're right. north. are people comfortable with that? So 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 what well, well that's if well that that's I am gathering true at five percent or at five point nine and then the only thing that saves us is that the twelve year rolling CPI is two point nine and we feel two point nine. Right. Well I'm just making things theory. up. Oh okay, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> make that's why I do I make things up. That's her dream. No. So no, I'm just I'm saying that the only thing that could change that we we've said we're yeah. waiting Right. Oh, yeah. If the CPI is lower. If the CPI is lower that for some reason than we we're anticipating and we get more comfortable with 3.5 or 4 right. instead of 5. Okay. Right. But I think we can hopefully finish up the budget except for except that, that, that piece. So, so, so bottom line is even though we retired a big debt, which created in, in, in another time and space would have created room in the budget, the pressures of COVID mm -hmm. um, are, are, are absorbing that. So, but we can also flip that down and, and say, right. oh, thank goodness yeah. we have, yeah, we sure. had that retired debt because it's really helping us to absorb well, these and pressures. The other thing we're doing, yeah. which is you and we're doing something else, which is just as important, which you mentioned before, which is we are really trying to come to terms with depreciation of our buildings and our well, center. Right. Because just, it. just the decision to we spent sixty thousand bucks in here. Right. Just with highway stuff that last year we didn't do, and last year we didn't budget. Right, and this I, year, and this year we're budgeting for and those. So we're being more honest. Well, well, and we're and it's allowing us. It's allowing that. It's allowing to us to, to to yes to get ourselves on on firmer footing. And it's it's creating that sort of buy ahead that we needed to to change some of our practice and put some of these principles and, and I, 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 I think we, we just want, one second and the fact that we didn't budget for that amount last year i think was an oversight it was not intentional didn't budget for which amount the, the payment of the the payment of the the, of the truck of the truck we, we just had to come it up. just it just i don't know how we did it but we had a big surplus no but we we didn't we didn't budget for it. I think it was not intentional. I think it was an oversight. Mm -hmm. So well, go ahead, Rick. Two things. One is okay. I've done the, the wage calculator on this, and that well, we can improve that. That's really close. I'm halfway through the equipment depreciation schedule that will be annualized, which should take a lot of the voodoo out of this. It's mm -hmm. gonna, and you'll see it'll be very clear. That's really come way. I already know what our depreciation is for all of our equipment on an annualized basis, but it, it does include things like the refunds, which it will, I mean, not the refunds, but the resale value when we ditch it. It'll actually be at that level. It'll tell us what we have to save annually. Now, that when I'm done with that calculator, I'll go on to do the buildings. I mean, I've got those models that I've built already. So I just have to plug in and, they won't be perfect, but they'll capture all the things like roofs and painting and mm -hmm. your major mechanicals, and they'll life cycle those too. So we'll have an idea of what we, a, a lot better than 1%, because those averages are based on, yeah, you know, and that's, I've seen those as high as 7%, so, and I work in that world, so, yeah. and they're based on big models. We've got, what, three buildings? Or four, three, four, so, 
it, you know, statistics get to be really dangerous when you got that small pool. So we we'll, we can do it on a real basis based on our equipment. So and I'll work on that next. So we'll get the trucks done first. We'll have that for the next budget cycle. And then maybe you get the state to do the same thing. So well, I would love. I tried for years. Falling apart buildings. I tried. Believe me. <laughs> No, this is uh, They did an accounting for the legislature. What just if an order vehicle building was what? Two hundred million dollars or something <laughs> crazy. No, I forget okay. it. Well there's, there's let me tell you there's one thing and this this is related to what Sharon's talked about on the confusion on these drafts. I would suggest Sandra's sending us these, you know, she sends us she compiles the budget. Instead of Setting some, let's do this all in one spreadsheet and we work, we do it, we save that, we copy that worksheet from a night and we create and we just copy it right into Excel and they have your second worksheet and we'll date it. Then all the iterations will be all right the there with the yeah, comments. Maybe a new tab. Yeah, 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 a new tab that everything's we right there. We can do that so it's all in the same and place. It's, it's all in that, that's right. Then you've got tabs for every, yeah, every single so one. We could, like, so we could label this one tonight. 12, 27, 21. It's called 12, 27. Well, that's yeah. what Mark did. Mark sent us one with two different tabs. Right, right. right. But we can do this again with tonight's right version. And if well, there is, if there, there exists a version that 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 Sandra sent you guys from the 13th, then you could add that in. Aren't we adopting a budget tonight? I hope so. I hope so. Okay. okay. I so thought we were going to motion to do this. Well, I think we need to. We need to get clear that we're, we're we are making one. We've made one revision, right? But that was on line one. <laughs> but I mean, but, I mean if, if you've looked at the rest, the rest are pretty much the same as they right. were on the thirteenth. Okay, so can you guys walk us through what changes were made? Okay, so what changes version. were made from the last time was we've covered line three, right? Um, the only the other one was the town office town hall capital reserve fund. And well, what is line four and five highlighted for? Um, those are salaries. The, anything that's salaries. Anything, anything that was salary. The salary is I that's what my calculator is. Hang sorry. on, Denise. So before we get to town hall, I again I don't have the 13th <coughs> as a data point, but um oh. The uh, from the sixth, and then what we had in preparation for the thirteenth, we had election expenses at twenty five hundred at fifteen hundred before. On the thirteenth, did we take those? Uh, at this yes, we, we reduced 15th? them. We reduced them because we don't have any big elections coming up. No, what I have here, where no, no, you have a line number, or where uh, are you? I'm, I'm, no, I, that's what I don't have. I have... Okay, election expenses, we went from... Oh, I know. We went from 1500 to 2500 because we do have elections coming up. And did we do that on the 13th? Yes. yes. Okay. And Can we... Do line uh, numbers, guys? I'm not... Okay, this is election expenses line number 57. Oh, okay. Thanks. Is there... Yep. If Hey, Sandra? Got it. This is a question for you. It doesn't have to be answered now. It could be answered in an email. It, when I print an Excel spreadsheet, is there a way to print line numbers? Just a, uh, just a I, question. Uh, maybe. Okay. Look, look at your, uh, um, I never do, so um, maybe you can look and view, or... Maybe under when you go to print options, you have a print option to print. Grid lines. The other option is just create a column. I think we need right to create. Not grid lines. Number column. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, think, I think what we're going to want to do is is add a column for line numbers. Yeah, just just add a column. Because line. because when you print it out, Excel doesn't give you line no, numbers. No, it doesn't. Yeah. The other, uh, I do not actually know how to do line numbers. If somebody could tell me what they're called. I would say. Just, I, just do a simple math function, right click on column A, and insert column, and then put in, you put in the number one on the first line, and then, and then you write, and, and then the next line you put a formula, equals A1 plus one, and then yeah. drag it down, and it, that formula will repeat down as far as That's you That's all you have to do. <laughs> yeah, simple formula. Okay, so can we, are you ready to? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, so don't forget, don't forget I, me. I was being confused. Okay, we don't have um, 
So the list your wages we changed from 12 to 8, remember? Yeah. Line item? A line and we did 35. that? 35. That we did on the 6, I think. Okay. Yeah, what, well, what, what that was a night, that was from the 6. Um, and I would like us to briefly, if that's possible, talk about increasing the delinquent tax collector wages from 10,000 to 12. Um, that's a thousand dollars a month. Line, and, um, 53. 53. I think Sandra has proven that she has come through on collecting delinquent taxes um, far better than anybody else going back has done. She's done an excellent job of working with folks, coming up with a routine by which they enter into a plan. Um, if you remember, well, some will, John will remember, we had a delinquent tax collector once. We were almost $200,000 or something delinquent in taxes. Um, then we had another delinquent tax collector that took over and did a great job as well. Um, Sandra's nailed it. So I would like us to consider this line item being up. I don't remember the last time it was that we upped it, but obviously it hasn't been since. Oh, right, that, that hasn't gone up with the salaries. No, no, it's never gone up with the salaries. Oh, okay. It's always been. I was going to ask about that. Okay. It's more. It's like a, a monthly amount. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Right. It, I just want to say it makes sense to me because when salaries have increased for the other positions, this say, this has not right, which is odd. Well, it should be. No, Sandra's not, you know, she has said, that, I remember a couple of years now, she said, I don't need an increase for this. No, I know, but it's a, I, generically speaking, right. it's an odd way to do it. Yes, it is. I, I don't have a problem with increasing it. I, I do have a problem with 2,000, that's 20%. Um, if we're going to treat it as a salary, you know, in that way, then we can do that. Then, you know, twenty percent is. I mean, maybe maybe five percent to acknowledge it's been. But that only been. But the COVID increase. Let's just say. Yeah. That there was a five point nine percent increase to sell all the other salaries. Say. Yeah. Then this would have to be coming out behind. But but, so, but we're in, we're working. She does a great job, Sandra. Nothing I'm going to say is personal. You do a great job. Uh, I'm fine, but you you speak away. <laughs> Thank you. We don't know how much time it takes. It's we haven't treated it as a salaried position before. Um, uh, yeah, I just think if we're thinking of it more as a salaried position, then a twenty percent bump is is too much. That's really that's all. That's the principle. It hasn't changed in four years. Right. It hasn't that's changed in. Uh, but we also don't know where it fits in terms of of, of time, you know. Um, well, it saves us. How much? It's. I mean, she's got. One hundred sixty-seven thousand, wasn't it? It was. But typically, we st we have delinquencies of one hundred ninety thousand dollars, and this year, I mean, you have one delinquency from twenty twenty and of two thousand dollars. There's so what I understand in the past is that was not your experience, that you were carrying delinquencies for more than one year I don't think that's what and they saying. were a couple of hundred thousand dollars on the books. You, you don't have, uh, you guys don't do, I don't do that. We don't do that all with I'm, the way I do it. All I'm saying, absolutely Sandra's doing a great job. Absolutely this is the right move to make it a town employee function. I mean, a lot has changed, Martha. We, we, the, the tax collector used to be paid by a percentage of the percentages amount. and the penalties, and you know, it was like this whole little standalone process that was stood outside right of the town. Um, yeah, it was. And we, and we brought it in, and all of the money comes to the town now, and Sandra gets paid a, a salary or a stipend to do the work, and that was that. She does a great job, and that's a really good move. I twenty. When in thinking about it that way, twenty percent is a lot. Um, we started with a ten percent, just ten thousand. Just uh, had it always. It, it, had, it went. I from, think we made that up because it never. We made, made it up. Um, yes, Sandra. What, what it would it take? I, I can tell you what happened. Ah. Tell us. So Nadine Martin was your delinquent tax collector before me. 
And I think she ended up on a salary because in the past there was a change in your delinquent tax rate. I'm not clear on exactly what that story was, but I think the senior members of this board remember that. I'm not going to be able to prompt your memory. I wasn't here. It was a couple of years before I came. So Nadine, I then believe, was on a salary at that point, and when she resigned, this either was her salary or the salary she recommended to the board to budget for the next delinquent tax collector. That's what I was offered and at what, the time. What happened was we the delinquent tax collector used to get paid whatever the percentage was. Now we're down to 0. 0.5. The penalty. The penalty. Yeah. The penalty. And now we're down. No, your three percent is your penalty. Yeah. Right. But that's the you're talking about interest. I'm talking so, about interest. So just to be clear for a listening audience, there was a perverse incentive. I'm not saying that that's what happened, but there's a perverse incentive to allow delinquencies to bill theoretically. So you could cure them. If one were interested in Did increasing their income because their penalties increased. Right. No, 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 no. Yes, they did. No, the penalty was a one time penalty, the interest increased. No. The okay, we can no. take this well, out. And, and it also, was per month penalty. And also, this per is. Per month penalty. This twelve thousand dollars, I'm I'm throwing out an increase of two thousand. You know, it, I'm not going to fall. Some, I'm not going to fall the sword over. I made my point. It's twenty percent. So, 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 so as Mark next said, year we try to twenty percent again. This thing's thing locked in time. It's at least four years ago. I think yep. it's longer than that. Yep. Um, and so, just to update it, I would suggest we we raise it to eleven thousand dollars, which. And then takes we into account the recent 5.9 ballpark, mm -hmm. and then also recognizes this has been fixed for a number of years and needs to be right. brought okay. into today's so, reality. All right. so, so really what we're saying is we're, we're shifting from, and we had this conversation two years ago, where we, we kind of started recognizing we have stipendy positions where it's it's thank you money. Mm -hmm. It's not pay, it's thank you well, money. This is not this is thank you money. Exactly. This is, this is, this is not thank you money. That's what I'm saying. This is not this is not that. So mm -hmm. to the extent that it's been caught in that it's 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 not. So we're going to eleven thousand and we're saying to ourselves, this is not thank you money, it gets increased. Okay, and just to be clear, I just threw out two thousand. Yeah. I should have maybe I should have thrown out any amount, and then we could have talked about it. We're supporting. Well, John just threw out. We're supporting. I just made up the number two. All right. Yeah, eleven thousand works for me. Okay. What? Okay. So did we want to? This started with you guys wanting to know. I just want to clarify something. At least for my part, I just assumed you delegated to us the preparation of a budget which we bring to you. <coughs> we came to you with an interim, and you made a lot of comments, all of which were included in the next budget, and then we met two more or three more times to iterate it. And I think I'm sorry that you got it at the last minute, but in terms of if I, what I'm hearing is you need to know two things. One, is the base budget from which we made four changes, was that base budget a budget that was changed to reflect the discussion of the 13th? It was. Yes. It was. Two, what are the changes we made since the 13th? Right. Exactly. And they are As now we, line one. Yep. Line 53. Line 53. Right. Can you, can you line 53 is Delinquent tax collector, tax. delinquent okay. tax collector of wages, it's after audit, is now going to be 11,000. Yep. Okay. And then you, you got the election expenses one. We've gone But over. that was, that that was, was changed that. as a result of the 13th. Right. And same with the Lister wage on line yeah. 35. But the, since the 13th, the only other changes are the ones that we just discussed. Right. That is, and we've already discussed them at the, length. In other words, those are the ones where we changed by five thousand dollars. We refined the salary of the, the line one eighty one highway wages. We refined that. It sort of went down about five thousand. Right. 
and we changed the reserve for town hall, the reserve for office, offices, and the, and the Capitol Highway. And that's it. And Nothing that's else it. is any different. Those are the okay. only changes that we made. So I move that we approve the budget with those changes. I first have a I've got a question. Well, we can have a conversation. I'm looking for a second. 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 Okay, now you got the conversation. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, and this is the operations manager waiting for. Right. 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 So now I see that's a jump of 16,000 budget 22 to uh, 20,000. Right. And that's, I agree with. Is that, I mean, I don't, that position hasn't had a wage increase for a long time. It hasn't. And we've had, I think Multiple that's Toby, right? Yes. So yes. He's brought in a million dollars worth of grants. I, so I, why are we bringing it up? Are you not happy with that amount? Well, I don't know. I, I, the question is, is, is that a, I mean, that's a, that is an increase, correct, on that line item for Yes, this. and we also, if we, get a, if we get a grants administrator, we may save money with Toby's position because he won't be doing so much grants so administrator. Yeah. Right, Mr. Fine. Yeah. No, that's really good. I just wanted to make sure that was yep. all. Right. That was all. You, right. got you got it. Thank right. you. All right, so I think there's a motion and a second. Four. All well, those, well, no, 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 discussion. hang on. No, for wait. What are you so mentioning? To approve the budget as amended. Well, tonight. hang on though. Hang on. What I don't understand is where we are. We we can't approve. Is this like approving it forever and forever, or just for tonight? No. Forever and forever. So we. But we haven't got the wages lock, lock, locked down. We're waiting. Well, we're well. waiting for the CPI. I think we approve it tonight. Contingent. Contingent upon the wages. Checking the CPI for end of December. Do we have that time? I, I, I don't thought we know. didn't have that time to go to January. 15th. Well, so let's so let's lay down our parameter. So, so I, I, I thought so we were going to approve it with 5.9. If the CPI is left, then we have a surplus in our budget, and well, so we so don't apply okay, that. This goes to the printers. That's why I said earlier. That's why you were that saying. we're not. This is not a, a pay January increase. January third, we have to do the final. Right. So budget. that's why I said earlier we approve this. At 5.9, it doesn't mean there's going to be a 5.9 pay increase, cost of living increase, as I would call it, necessarily, because one, it may not be as much comes January 15th, right. and two, we may decide not to increase it that much, but we're allowing that's an outside number, the, and, 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 and the money's there in the event. If it goes to 6.1, we're not going there. Right. If embedded, it's 5.5, we'll go there. We might go 5.1 if it's 5.5. And embedded in your comment, is there, are you embedding in it the, did your comment incorporate what, what I've said before that between, between now where we've created our, our increased pot, here's the pot, is a select board process where we decide, you did say this earlier, how we are going to allocate the pot to we individual people. Right. It different could be different different across the board, it could be... So, right. so, so, so could we have person? a friendly amendment to your motion stating that this is, the budget is approved pending the outcome no, of... No, this no, is no, the budget. This is, this is the number. This is the I number. This is the number. This is the number. How we allocate our... Okay, gotcha. That's John, separate. John okay. is saying... John, That's a separate conversation. John is right. saying, obviously, right. okay. obviously, if CPI is 6.5, we're, we're not doing that, period. Yeah, Just plain on not doing it. There's your pattern. And John, <laughs> and John is saying, also, don't forget, all we're doing is creating a budget. We are not Spending awarding money. increases yeah. to any particular individuals decisions. right now. That is a select board discussion, mm -hmm. select board process. Sure. Even if CPI is 3% 3, 3 we've got... 2.9 we could we could still and i'm going to say this because it's true even if cpi is three we could decide to award Higher. increases whatever label you put on it of something less than three that's we right. have right. that authority right this okay. is okay. Exactly. Budget. A budget that, is a, that's a conversation at a later date right. a budget is for spring. Right. Yeah. A budget is for planning purposes only it doesn't yeah. bind us to any specific amount so, for any person the only amount that binds us is when the voters vote on the bottom line right mm -hmm. okay so the with all that said we, right, right. What, what, and, and another another implication is it doesn't 
whatever the December numbers say will inform our thinking around increases for, for a later date. It, yep. But yep. it doesn't have anything, but we're not going to use our budget. Oh, okay. All those Wait, stop. Yeah. You are you voting? You have to vote a number. We are. That will go into your warning. Are you we voting are. a number yes. tonight? Yes, the number is yes. at the bottom of our spreadsheet. It's, no, 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 John, because we've changed it. Are you going to use the 5.9% well, tax? Yes. Wait, yes. Huh? Number one. All right, so yeah, wait, I questions. can do that. Yes. You need a number. You want to add $11,000 back into that yes, budget. Yes, correct. Also, can I, can I add to this? Because we did this a year ago or two years ago. We had to, we had to do it again because we did the big fat global number and then Jim said no you have to you have to separately approve do you remember this Denise? yes yeah, so we had to separately approve each warned well, line or something. well we have to separately approve we can I think we can what we can do is we can approve the bottom line. Let's approve that. And then, and then we can break it out. And then we can break it out into pieces because we have the social services appropriation stuff. We have fire departments. So we'll approve the fat number tonight and then next time we'll approve our pieces parts. Right. Okay. No. But we still need Denise or Denise, uh, Sandra to tell us the the only the only change we made in the end is the eleven and the um, delinquent tax collector to eleven thousand from ten. So is Sandra. So you added. Let me oh, summarize. You oh, added so ten thousand back in the because the select board assistant was reduced by ten. So you put ten back in. When when the budget goes to press, it will show that twenty two five broken up over two cells. Two cells. Right? And you also put a thousand dollars back into your delinquent tax collector cell. Right. So your bottom line is one million four hundred eighty thousand four hundred seventy three dollars. It says nine cents. You don't you're not going to put the nine cents in. No. That that came from a formula, right? That's embedded in this spreadsheet for you to work on. Yep. So you would your total operating budget is fourteen eighty four seventy three. Wait a minute. That's what has to go in your warning. Is that the total GG and highway and special? No. Sandra, yes. Sandra, wait. It's just that one. Wait. Though. That's what she gave us. Is wait. the blue line. Wait, Sandra. The budget that you sent us, the most recent one, line two ninety seven showed for this year before the changes of tonight. I have one four six eight five six four. And she just added you even. eleven you add eleven thousand to that. You get right. one four seven nine five six four. Are we in agreement? No. I add but your your numbers are going to change because the FICA and Beamer oh, numbers FICA, will right. change. I'm sorry. Uh, Okay, thanks. So it's it's a bit of a cascade. So it's one, that's that's uh, so it's one million four hundred eighty thousand four hundred and seventy-three. Right. Okay, and that does not include the social service appropriations. And we don't and we don't do cemetery. And it doesn't include Right, you wouldn't be so you wouldn't be approving any of anything below that. Right, that that yeah, goes to the voters. Right, that those, can be voted up or down. Right. So those get voted on by the voters. So they're not included in our bottom line because we don't know if they're going to get approved. But we don't know if the other one going to get approved either. But that's the way it works. Okay. okay so we're not in charge. And so 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 okay. we don't have to approve. I guess we don't. The only thing we have to do is approve putting these are these. I numbers on the warning, which is the social service, right. the fire department, cemeteries, their own thing. And so we are basically approving our our proposed budget. budget. Maybe right. that's the step we're taking. That is what we're we don't tonight. get to approve other people's proposed budgets. Right. But we right. So we don't get to approve the cemeteries, but we get to approve putting it in the in the book. No, they they're their own thing. They're elected. But we approve the warning. We approve the warning. Yes, we but we approve it. That's what I mean. 
we approve it going in the wall. Right, just yeah. like the social services thing right. and the fire department. So that's totally separate. Okay. So, right. so is that so a motion? We have so a mo motion is to approve the budget as amended at one million four hundred eighty thousand four hundred seventy-three dollars. Correct. I'll second right. that. Wait a minute. Okay, discussion. Yes. Can we make this I just want to bring this up. We at the last meeting, you remember, we authorized uh, uh, to buy to replace the Ford pickup. I mean that we've got because it's the limit. No, so we don't have numbers on that yet. But what is that? Do we have to in any way? Yeah, you do. That's what I mean. No, we you don't have, have the twenty-three West Westar numbers on that. Oh, we do have the. No, that's not a Westar. This is not the truck that was bought. But we, what does that have to do with this budget? Because that will be. And that's this fiscal year. That's that going to be this fiscal year. That's starting to lie. But if we buy that. If we, we buy it this fiscal year, it comes out of this fiscal year. I get, oh, 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 you're right. You're right. So yeah. And and that's that truck's on a loan. And well, I'm thinking. It's see, be, I'm, one loan is going to be sunset or replaced with another one, and so it'll be so much job. We can't. Uh, I was thinking. Everything. See, what I was thinking is that truck. I mean, we're like on a, a at least an eight month backlog to get these things. So mm -hmm. the purchase to me, I was thinking, okay, this is going to be in the next fiscal when that appears. So that's why. Yeah. Or if it ever I don't gets, know. We told them to keep an eye open. Who knows what's going to happen? Right. Okay. So that well, just, just so we're maybe the only bad thing on that truck, mechanically, are the bad lines. Yeah. And they'll put these retrofitted adapters in. And it'll be cool. Okay. So you should. Know. Okay. So all right, we're approving a budget of one million four hundred eighty thousand dollars. Four hundred eighty three thousand. Four hundred. No. One one million four hundred eighty thousand four hundred seventy three. Is it four eighty? Yes. But that's the number. One million four eighty four seventy three. Yeah, that's what Sandra gave us. That's what I just said. Right. Yep. Okay, and it's been moved, seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Thank you. And what is the uh, just for just for fun? What is the breakdown? What is what is the percentage? I'm about to calculate. Yeah, we put it. One point seven two seven over last year. That's without all of these now, it, appropriations. No, that's just your basic general budget. government and highway. One point seven two seven. One point seven two seven is the is the your is the select board's proposed budget. If you if all the. Um, other articles. articles are voted up as is. It's a 3.6 uh, increase over the last year. But that's right. not on us. No. And that's what I think voters never really understand is that we're proposing a town highway budget. Right. Everything else is stuff that they get to approve or not. So there you go. And most of which we don't even develop. Um, and can, can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Did you just say you're you're going to buy an additional a a second purchase no. of a truck? No, never never mind. That's no, we're not. No, we're, not. we're just we're we're contemplating we're, we the new truck the what I call the new truck the 2019 or whatever that thing is. Uh, we're having issues with it despite its newness, and so we're we're thinking about maybe replacing it. And it might be a trade, a high dollar trade for, and it might not be that much of a difference. We'll have to figure that out. We may not do anything, Sandra. We don't know yet. Yeah, we so don't, don't, don't worry about, don't worry we about don't that. Numbers, it, it's not enough to worry about at this point. Okay, so here we are with the warning. And you might have seen, I sent everybody around the, um, I don't know if this is the most current one or not. Katie, is this the most current warning? Yes. Okay. Um, you might have seen where I reached out to the VLCT and they responded. It's, it's pretty likely that the legislature in their first week of, um, not adjournment, reconvening, um, will approve towns having the ability to do town meeting like we did last year. <laughs> Yep. If that's the case, then there's going to be a lot more warned items here. Yep. Um, because everything will be by Australian ballot. 
we would hold an informational meeting like we did last year, which we have under our belt because it worked very, went very smoothly. Mm -hmm. um, so we won't know about the warning until after the legislature votes. So there's not really much to do, but I just want to make us aware. But Karen Horn said that the first order, right, for the first item of business at the legislature is to take this issue up, so she anticipates it will pass. Right, because that's what she. Yes, I think that's what she responded to me. This yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. yeah. So there isn't really much to do here, but we should keep an eye on yeah. that, and I'm sure we'll know as soon as it happens. Um, next up, select board report. I went through that today and put. I didn't. I went through it again today too. Well, uh, the problem, Denise, is what you sent is only is an attachment, and then attachments live all by themselves rather than being a Google document. Right, but I sent it to Katie who put it in the folder. It no. wasn't in the folder when I looked for it. So I don't know when you looked. Oh yeah, I printed it in the morning. Well, no, no, no. no. So no. I was working from, I worked from, 4 .57 PM. I'm perfectly willing, so I'm perfectly uh, willing to go back into, if it's in, when you say the folder, you put it into night's folder. Mm -hmm. I put it in the town meeting folder. That's oh, no, I'm sorry, I, for it. I didn't put it there. Okay. I, didn't have, I didn't think to have Katie put it there. I had it put in tonight's folder. So I will go through and incorporate my edits into what's in tonight's folder. Is that the, or should we just park it in the town meeting folder so it doesn't have to keep moving across the um, Could you go in and make your edits, but do it like in red or something? And then I would propose that I drafted this. So maybe John and I, after you do your edits, get together look at it again, and then get it ready for the rest of the board to finalize. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'll do that. You're also set. This is the town report. This is the this select board's report board. that we put in the town, I think probably five people read it. Yeah, what is the, what is it supposed to be? It's just an update. All the boards and commissions and committee put a document in the town report so that people know what they've been working on over the last year. This is our version of that. Okay, and is this something that is subject to the same July, January 4th deadline? Everything is. It is. It's a printer. We go so, printer. in other words. This has to be done by. Okay. This was supposed to be done by December 15th. Okay. I was late getting it done. The office has given me an extension. Right, I'm with you. Okay. okay. It just means that whatever you guys do, we, we will get it right to you right, right away. There's no policy in here. It just be, says, you know, Mark came sure. to the meeting and did great work. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. so it's, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's just, not that big of a deal. No, I, I'm with you. So what I'm saying is we're just delegating to you guys to finish it, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, okay, great. I'm perfectly happy. I trust you. Okay, very good. Uh-oh. Well, why don't totally. I... Totally. Then why don't you... If, if <laughs> what... <laughs> Is what's out there now? That's the latest version. It's a, but but so you didn't mark your changes? No, because I hadn't heard from anybody that even they even got my email with the attachment. So I just went in today and today or yesterday I forget and made some more edits. So if you could put your edits in there, maybe do them in red or green or purple. I don't care. So we know or I know what's different than what I put in. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean the overall theme is tightening it up and taking out the stuff that felt boring to me. Okay. Just so you know. And if we don't think it's boring, then we'll leave it in. Well, just, that's what I'm worried about, Denise, is that every, all of my effort's gonna be just wasted. And we're also, we, uh, last year you did a pie chart, which we don't, which I will do. Okay. I think the pie chart's really important. Maybe I, I'm the only one who cares about pie. I like the pie chart. <laughs> what was the pie chart? Of? The pie chart is a is a is a budgetary. Is budget. a, a visual a visual that reminds everybody that the town's budget is it's the biggest piece of pie, but the other pieces are significant, and we have no control of them. Yeah, right. And the other piece that even no, though we're, we're not the biggest piece, the school budget is the biggest piece. So I, don't, I don't even put that in there though. No, it should be. I, I thought you should. Yeah, no, it should be. I don't think I have it. I thought we did. I thought you were in sure that we were. I'm pretty sure I didn't put it in. I don't think right. I have it. Okay. If, if I had it, if, if somebody can get me a school number, I'll put it in. But what it does show. 
Mark, what it does show is that of the town's budget, by the the high of of all the things people vote on, the highway is half. Is the school in there? I don't remember right now what school budget is in the it's it's in the town of Portland. Can you send me a school number? Do you know where to get one? Yeah, I know where to get one. I can just. I don't know if it's in the service. No, it's not in there. I, it's been, I think it would be important. The highway is 45% or something. Right. But I think it would be good if we can get a number to put the school piece in there. I'll get, I'm, I'm walking That'd out be of great. Thompson tomorrow yep. morning, so. Okay, day. so, and what's my deadline for the pie? ASAP, everything is ASAP. January 4th is the, is yeah. the. And it's okay to rush, just don't burn the pie. Right. Right. Yeah. Can I can I ask a question? We got this is nothing. And that is, should we have should since we pulled since we're pulling out the fire department budget this year, for, we're separating that now as an article. Right? It's going to be an, it's going to be a warrant item. So should we? Here. Right. But no. And just for to, to inform you know the public so that they have a way of comparing apples to oranges. Should we have stronger? Give us a number of what that would look like. Since this is what it's always been in the past, if that number was actually in our, in our budget, what that increase was going to look no, like. No, 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 no. Plus two, it's too late. I mean, just to get some. But the no. fire, the you fire. You can explain it on the floor if you want. The fire and safety, yeah. right. Well, I just, just want to make sure it's but, that. Okay. I don't think that means we'd have to have two budgets. We can't do that. Rick, Rick okay. this might, and this actually goes to, you, to your point in a more simple, in a, in a mm -hmm. oh, perhaps a little simplified way. Fire and safety is its own way to the pie. Right. And has been historically. So there's that point of comparison. Okay. No, I'm just. Yeah. I'm just I, 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 I understand what you're saying. saying. Yeah. But that means we would have to put print two budgets and we can't do well, that. I don't mean that. I mean just have a number for us. So that would be three budgets because Woodbury is always. It is. It well, is actually isn't just, just draw up your, your talking points and you'll have to get you for the information you need. Right, on because that. it's when the final budget is done, it has the breakdown mm -hmm. of the amount of fire, fire and ambulance yeah, and, the, and the bottom line. I got it. So it's there. All right. Is there anything else that we need to talk about tonight? It is quarter I'd like for th three minutes executive session. You promise? Personnel, that. just three minutes. I'm going to go to the bathroom while the camera packs up. Everybody, okay. okay. And also, while you're doing that, um, you have to move to go and do executive. Right, session. but we're not doing that yet. Okay. okay, you're moving. Okay. Or did you move? I moved. And I you moved seconded. For personnel yes, matters. the personnel matters. Okay, makes sense. Got all that, Katie? Thank you so much. Thank you, Sandra. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Thank Sandra. You. Recording stopped.